Hey guys, welcome back to Wig Vibes with Chris. Today we're going to take a look at Ellen Villa's beautiful girl mono. I have her in the color Saffron Rooted. And it is a beautiful copper red, dark copper red at the root. It has a copper red and then it has a light copper red, especially here at the ends. It's got these little tips of that light copper red, but it kind of goes throughout this whole wig. Now this is a trendy mid-length style. Um, I think that the curl pattern in this does not look like you've done this yourself. I think this looks like you were born with natural curl. This is a very comfortable wig. It weighs about 3.1 ounces and you really don't even realize you've got it in. Now as some of you all may know, Ellen Villa wigs are really for your petite to average. I have an average size head um, and this one as long as I don't have any hair which I don't really but a little stubble uh, this one fits me pretty good. The coverage on the sides is adequate. It doesn't cover as well as I would like but it's good um, and this one because of the curl pattern really tends to hide that. The bangs on this one is 6.5 inches. The sides say that they're nine inches. Take that with a grain of salt because this is a very layered, uh, what I would call a layered bob. The crown down is 7.5 inches. And again, take that with a grain of salt because of the layering. And then the nape is five inches. This has all the traditional bells and whistles as I call them. Um, it has the felt tip ear stays. It has the adjustable straps. These are Velcro on this particular one. It has the extended nape that is also felt covered. It is a open wefted cap and it is a left side monofilament part. This one also has a lace front that goes temple to temple and it's adequate. I do wear this one pulled off my face, which is really cute. Um, you can do some cute things with this wig. I think you could put this wig up if you wanted to even. But the bangs are nice because they don't get in my face, which is important, as you all know, when I'm at the salon and standing over clients all day. Um, I'm going to do a quick 360. I apologize. My setup today is a little different. Um, so bear with me while I do this 360 on a stool that doesn't move around, and I'll be right back. My stool's kind of noisy too. Sorry, guys. Hopefully some of that beautiful color's picking up though. As you can see, kind of the light coming in back there, you kind of pick up some of the coloring. I do believe that Ellen Villa has nailed it with this particular combo. I think it's a very natural, natural looking copper color. I think it looks like the curls were born, you were born with and I think that the color is something you were born with. Now something else I want to talk to you all about today is your fibers. Sometimes they can get a little dry feeling and that's where something like the Simply Styling um, comes into play. Now this you do not ever want to be this close and spray directly on your wig because it'll make it feel really greasy. Um, of course you can wash it and let it dry and that will take care of it. However, this is a great tool to have it um, will help you with some of these fibers that feel like they're getting a little, a little dry or a little frizzy. You just want to take some, spray it on your hand like that, rub it together, and then just go through your curls like that. And see how that just kind of tames them and kind of gives them a nice sheen and it makes them not look so frizzy. So the Simply Styling is a really, really good, good product to have. It's great for your longer wigs that have curl. Again, don't ever spray like this. You wanna make sure you're holding it out at arm's length and spraying it like that, because that will help. If you're gonna put it on a shorter wig or even your longer wigs, again, spray it on your hand, rub it together and rub, you know, rub through the curls and stuff. And it'll just really kind of put some life back into them. Something else about this wig that I like, I think this is a good wig for any, any age. Um, you can make it really big if you wanted to, if you like the volume. Now this one doesn't have permatees in it that I feel, but if you want to pump up the volume, you can do that. If you're like me and you like it a little more subdued, you can do that as well. Uh, the fibers on this, that was another reason I wanted to do it in front of the window here is because they are so light and airy as you can see. Such a natural density, I think. Um, you could tuck this behind your ear if you wanted to, and I've done that which is a cute, cute style. Your ear doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. So that's a really cute style. I like that. I think you could do some updos with this um, and I think that it would be really, really cute. You know, you pull it back like that, have some of the bang down, have a couple little curls. And I think that that's a really cute style. I think you could put this one up even if you wanted to and just leave some looser, style, looser curls down. Excuse me, can't talk today apparently. Um, you could do that, and I think that that's a really cute, oh, well, that's 
really cute. Anyway, there is a lot. Don't think that because you get a wig that's this particular length um, that you're limited. You can do a lot with them. Make them yours, own them. Like I've told you all before, it's just like your own bio hair. Um, it's real. You paid for it. It's yours, so have fun with it. Um, do me a favor. Like this video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe. Hit that little button, the little bell down there. It'll tell you when to upload, which is usually going to be once a week. Um, also, if you've got any suggestions, fall colors, um, anything like that, wigs that you'd like to review, leave those down in the comment sections below, and uh, I'll see what I can get worked up for you all. Until next time, bye guys.